My name is Murat Kachira. Uh, I'm uh, associate professor uh, in the Department of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering. And I'm also one of the faculty members uh, here at the Controlled Environment Agriculture Center. The mission of my lab is to establish uh, uh, resource use efficient controlled environment agriculture systems using novel sensing, uh, monitoring and climate control applications. When we talk about resource use efficiency, uh, we are looking at basically how much input goes into the production as well as how much output we can achieve from a production setting. So we're kind of more paying more attention or focusing more in the uh, uh, input side of, the, uh, of this equation. So if you look at uh, greenhouse systems, uh, most of the time aerial environment or the resort environment is monitored and controlled. However, what I believe is that you know, if we can include plant physiological responses measured by sensors in the uh, decision making process, we can uh, improve resources efficiency. We are using these remote sensing uh, applications to identify stresses and stress localities in, in the plant production domain and use that information as a part of the control strategy, so hoping that we can improve uh, the management and, uh, uh, and production processes, uh, ultimately improving resources efficiency. Uh, another uh, research focus that we have in the lab is um, looking into details of the interactions of uh, environment uh, in the greenhouse system with the plant canopy as well as the surrounding environment. A lot of exchanges happening between the plant canopy and the surrounding environment and um, these processes are not easy to, to analyze. Since there are complex uh, processes involved, we take advantage of uh, computational modeling, for example uh, using computational fluid dynamics approach uh, or we call it CFD approach uh, that is a branch of fluid mechanics uh, using numerical uh, analysis and algorithms to uh, analyze fluid flow uh, to evaluate uh, environmental uniformity. Our goal is to quantify the uh, interaction between the plant and the surrounding in more detail, understand these exchange processes in a, uh, in a better way so we can uh, come up with design uh, recommendations for growers, operators or system manufacturers. Uh, we have been working with CFD applications for aerodynamic analysis in greenhouse systems uh, to look at aerial uniform the environmental uniformity. Uh, recently, uh, we are also working with CFD applications uh, for indoor plant production systems. Um, if you look at uh, greenhouse uh, systems, um, uh, there are a lot of resources used. So a lot of resources are provided as inputs in the production. And if you uh, look at greenhouse systems, uh, these resources uh, uh, are limited, especially in arid and semi-arid climates, such as water, energy, uh, and even nutrients, and even fertilizers. So in the greenhouse production systems, uh, what would be a best uh, approach is to integrate appropriate production techniques and systems and, and whenever possible look into energy saving or energy conservation applications and, and uh, also integrate some of the alternative energy or renewable energy uh, uh, applications in the controlled environment agriculture production systems. So uh, recently uh, we have been focusing on uh, uh, integrating agrivoltaics or photovoltaic energy power production systems in, in greenhouse uh, production systems uh, to determine what would be the capabilities or limitations in terms of integrating these two uh, systems together uh, so we can meet some of the energy demands for the uh, greenhouse systems uh, uh, to make again greenhouse system more resource use uh, efficient. Uh, we are uh, working on uh, certain types of photovoltaic uh, systems uh, to generate power uh, either on the side of the greenhouse to demonstrate an off-grid greenhouse system for uh, remote sites or for disaster zones for military applications for example and we're also uh, we have been working on uh, uh, new glazing technologies which are able to produce electricity 
uh, with wavelength selective characteristics. So we were trying to understand uh, what are the uh, capabilities again for energy production as well as uh, the effect on uh, microclimate, in, in fact, in terms of uh, climate under the glazing and also look at the effects of plant responses under such uh, glazing technologies. So it's an interesting area, it's a growing area that uh, we have interest in our lab.